This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good morning, Arizona. I'm Javier Soto here. Are the latest stories we're following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. Some breaking news we've been following all morning long. A massive fire shuts down Tempe Town Lake after a train crash and a bridge partially collapses. It set large dark plumes of smoke high into the sky. About six o'clock this morning, the south bridge of the bridge, uh, south side of the bridge collapsed. Fire investigators are looking into what led to the fire. So far, no reports of any injuries, and we will, of course, continue to follow this breaking news. You can get the latest on air as well as our Arizona's Family News app. Well, Arizona added another 2300 new coronavirus cases here in the state, which now uh, pushes us past 168,000 uh, confirmed cases uh, here in the state of Arizona. Sadly, 46 more people have died. That means close to 3500 Arizonans have died since the pandemic started. Our seven day rolling average of positivity rate has dropped from 22% to 20.7% while ICU and inpatient bed usage did go up slightly, uh, less fewer of those spots are filled with COVID-19 patients and ventilator usage for COVID patients also dipped once again. Well, some good news when it comes to COVID testing, the South Mountain College site moved to Cesar Chavez Park near Baseline and 35th Avenue. And yesterday we watched as people got through those lines in less than 30 minutes. Organizers say not only will people see shorter wait times, but a quicker turnaround with those results expected within five to seven days. Governor Doug Ducey is creating a task force to address how long term care facilities should deal with the pandemic. This task force will focus on developing recommendations on how and when visitation at these facilities can resume. It will also come up with what steps facilities can take to help residents and their loved ones maintain contact. The task force is made up of public health officials, medical experts, senior advocates, uh, private sector leaders, as well as legislators and family members. Well, it is going to be a very hot day out there today. A heat warning is in effect now. 114, your high for your Wednesday, 116 Thursday, and 117 on Friday. The heat warning finally expires Saturday evening. All right, be safe out there. Thank you, April. For updates and more stories, all you have to do is download the Arizona's Family News app and make sure you subscribe on our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Javier Soto. Have a great day.